Let's check it out. Let's check it out. Nice. There we are. Let's see. Let's see. Awesome. 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 Hi, everyone. This is Chicho. Welcome to my channel and welcome to the live stream. Today, today is uh, March 21st, 2023. Happy spring and happy Persian New Year. I hope you're doing well. And today's live stream is music lyrics. We're back with round number eight. And this time we're doing a theme. We're focused on war lyrics. Uh, we had to cancel this uh, stream once because I had technical difficulties. I upgraded OBS and uh, it wasn't working with my graphics card or sound card. And, um, and basically I switched over to the newer laptop that we ended up buying last year a few months ago ghostface howdy how are you doing i hope you're doing well uh so i'm happy to have uh this uh, stream back music lyrics canton canto canto hello all hello salutations canto I hope you're doing well i switched up my uh, lyrics that i'm gonna i'm gonna read you guys uh, uh today i had picked uh red balloons for the last one and uh uh, lyric uh, from a System of a Down song, um, War, I think, uh, I had picked. Um, but I switched it up. I got two other lyrics uh, going here. And one of them, I can almost guarantee that uh, others have as uh, their choice as well or what they wanted to share. So as soon as it pops up, I'm pretty sure this is going to be, I'm, I'm willing to bet, you know, if I was a betting man, which I am, I'd bet that others have picked this one guaranteed almost guaranteed almost guaranteed and gang um before we get into this do not forget do not forget free assange free assange free assange julian assange is a publisher and journalist that has been crucified for trying to bring transparency and accountability of capitalist power to humanity something that we desperately need in our societies for more information see wikileaks.org defend.wikileaks.org or our Julian Assange and Wikileaks playlist on Censor Tube. And welcome, welcome to another live stream. I'm going to do my little intro while we wait for notifications to go out. Slowly people start rolling in. Uh, but if you want to follow this work, I'm on Patreon, patreon.com forward slash chicho. We do have a Substack page and a subscribe star page, so you're definitely welcome to follow us there. For those of you that are supporting this work on Patreon, on Twitch, where we are live streaming, uh, sharing information and building our community and for those of you the handful of you that are supporting this work on sensor tube as well and supporting this work through other means including coming to our live streams and sharing uh, and uh, just participating in open discussion gang thank you very much for this support uh, it is in large part that uh, we're able to do what we are doing is because of your support really um just sharing information is the key right because we all want to build a better society right aside from that gang we do have a gilded server you're definitely welcome to join us on gilded to share information continue our discussions from live streams or start new discussions uh, open platform uh, you can agree with us disagree with us um, it's all good as long as we as human beings are communicating uh, we can prosper, right? Uh, we do announce these live streams 30 minutes, 45 minutes before we go live on Twitter, Minds, VK, Gab, Getter, and Parlor. You're definitely welcome to follow us on those platforms. I'm probably more active. Well, I am more active on Twitter, uh, but uh, we'll see. We'll see how long that uh, free speech, sort of free speech, not totally free speech, but better than technocratic censorship that was... Uh, going on there for a number of years we pulled out for about three four years it was pure censorship so we didn't even participate on twitter for the last few years uh so now that we rock on it um, go a little ballistic on there and uh, not too much because uh i don't want to invest too much time into that platform but it is good to add our little drop to the ocean and build ripples higher and higher right just the way we're doing in our live streams right and uh this live stream uh the audio for this live stream will be uploaded soundcloud.com forward slash chiso as a podcast and this podcast should be available on your favorite podcasting platform including 
uh, Google Play, iTunes, Amazon, Spotify. I don't know. Wherever you listen to your podcast. <laughs> what the buck? 007 or 07, not 007, 07. Uh, morning, Chicho. Hope you're well. Doing well. Thank you very much. I got uh, I got myself, uh, took some of the beets that we cooked, mixed it up with mint and uh, apple. So it's nice just eating. Uh, I, this is what I do uh, during beet season, I guess. Uh, winter. Uh, Ayes, how are you doing? Hope you're doing well. Uh, I eat a lot of beets, a lot of root vegetables and stuff. I mix it up with apples. And apples last forever. Not forever, but if you store them properly, they'll last for months after the harvest, right? These are the ones that we buy. Sometimes, Mike, wonderful afternoon to you, sir. Good morning to you as well. <laughs> Let me take these guys down, gang. What the buck? Delicious. I followed your pomegranate playlist it's on uh, one of my favorite foods not a big fan of beets too early uh, earthy tasting yeah uh, what the buck i mentioned this yesterday i started i had a bowl of beets yesterday when i was younger i hated the taste of beets it was crazy I, even the smell of beets really turned me off as i've gotten older uh, i love beets i love beets and i love borscht right so borscht I love, but I never eat beets uh, by themselves when I was younger. And as I've gotten older, uh, beets taste amazing to me, right? And I, I believe one of the reasons that happens is because uh, our taste buds, I think, correct me if I'm wrong, I, I don't know, this is my guess. I got a feeling our taste buds are a lot more sensitive when we're younger. They're more uh, in tune, right? And I think our taste buds maybe get a little bit duller as we grow older. So take that whichever way you want, all right? Your taste buds, uh, maybe they're not as sharp as they were when you were younger as you get older, but your repertoire of food that you can eat uh, uh, grows. So, and amazing food, amazing food, all right? Funky family, how are you doing? That still doesn't change the fact that there are 49 million kangaroos in Australia and 3.5 million people in Uruguay, which means if the kangaroos were to invade Uruguay, each person will have to fight 14 kangaroos. Uh, one person can't even beat one kangaroo, right? Have you seen kangaroos? They're mean, them like they're so mean. They're like buffed up T-Rex boxers. It's crazy. And they got the leg power to boot, right? And the tail. So kangaroos, from what I heard, you don't want to get too close to them. They'll, and they got nails, claws that are like oh, oh. mean little buggers, mean little. I, and you know what? Come to think about it, in the comic book world, I don't, I don't recall a kangaroo hero or villain. Funky family, thank you very much for the follow. Salute, salute. I don't recall. Uh, there has to be. I must have come across one, but I don't. Uh, salute for the follow. But I can't recall a villain uh, being Kangaroo Man or something like this. Because kangaroos would make great villains. Mean little buggers. Or it could be mean little buggers. Or uh, an army of warriors, right? Kanto, hope everyone is doing well today. Glad to cast your stream. Glad to have you. Glad to have you. Iced beetroot apples and mint anything else that might be another snack i'm gonna i'm gonna have to try yeah try it out it's really good uh, and uh, put a little lemon on top or apple cider vinegar i put lemon squeeze a little bit of lemon on top mix it all up right apple cider vinegar with this is amazing as well okay super good super good Oh, Tank Girl, that's right. They got the, uh, the the kangaroo character in there. I totally forgot the dude face. Thank you very much. That's right. That's right. He is in there. He is in there. But he's not uh, mean. <laughs> he's, if I recall correctly, he's a little... Uh, he, 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 he tries to escape a lot, run away and stuff. <laughs> Up the yin yang, up the yin yang. Froggy man, how are you doing? I like the swirling ones. 
or more refined what the bug our taste buds become more refined as we get older yes 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 why not froggy brussels sprouts are actually different tasting now due to the selective breeding over the last 40 years really i used to love brussels sprouts and sandwiches i haven't done for a very long time sometimes my wonder woman had a kangaroo sidekick didn't she i don't remember a kangaroo sidekick for a while um a wonder woman but tank girl for sure tank girl for sure miracle of dad pick up miracle elder god how you doing <laughs> you're here awesome 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 you almost didn't make it family first though always 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 glad to have you though brother glad to have you though brother you know, fun stuff fun stuff gang lyrics stream focused on war lyrics eduardo Tarara. <laughs> can anyone guess which movie Tarara, tara 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 rambo <laughs> is that what we're doing the bomb bomb run can anyone guess which movie oh it's a bomb run um bomb run oh no it wouldn't be <laughs> it wouldn't be uh, uh, uh come and see come and see had a shorter bomb run damn busters da -da 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 -da. <laughs> Eduardo was laughing. <laughs> Doctor Strange Love, is it? No, it doesn't have that long of a bomb scene, does it? Hilarious. <laughs> Doctor Strange Love is one of the greatest movies ever, ever, ever made. Stanley Kubrick was a god among filmmaking gods. He is my favorite director uh, and my second uh, favorite American uh, film. This would be British or American. The favorite Western film director. A close, not a close second, but a second would be Terrence Malick. Terrence Malick, I really like as well. Okay. Uh, they're unique. And Cronenberg right so stanley kubrick uh terrence malick cronenberg uh, and there are many others of course there are many other but terrence malick is, shines above everyone else in my book anyway uh just absolutely brilliant the sense of humor the way he portrays information so good so good so good eduardo so good gang let's do let's do music lyrics but, let's do music lyrics let's do music lyrics war 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 there are so many i was thinking you never edward never heard of uh, terrence malick look look into terrence malick look into terrence malick he did uh badlands i think it was called badlands um he did uh thin red line i believe um he did uh he did a lot of movies very terence malick is very hypnotic eduardo you uh, uh, you would love it i think you would really like it that terence malick has a lot of a lot of quiet scenes in his movies like just a few minutes of just quiet just landscape people walking by uh, it, shooting a corner of a room like very good i haven't seen any of, any of his films really oh dude you are in for a treat for a treat really i wish i could watch terrence malick for the first time right it's like don't you wish you could see uh dr strange love or full metal jacket or so many of other uh terrence mckenna uh, not terrence mckenna uh terrence um oh my god uh, anyway certain directors like don't you wish you could watch um blade runner for the first time right or lawrence of arabia for the first time right 
And gang, do not forget, do not forget. I know we said it, but we'll say it again because lies are started. Uh, wars are started with lies and peace can be started with the truth, right? Paraphrasing very close to uh, with uh, Sing, Sing in Kintin. Thank you very much for the follow. Paraphrasing Julian Assange, right? Free Assange, free Assange, free Assange. Julian Assange is a publisher and journalist that has been crucified for trying to bring transparency and accountability of capital's power to humanity. For more information, see wikileaks.org, defend.wikileaks.org, and or Julian Assange, or or Julian Assange and Wikileaks playlist on Censor 2. Eduardo, nice. Gonna watch Badlands first. Oh, you're in for a treat. Sissy Spacek and uh, um, what's his name? Uh, I forget his name. Fantastic movie. There's something about the uh, year 1970. Oh, you're in for a treat, Eduardo. Uh, if I'm thinking about the right movie, I'm bad with names and stuff. A beautiful America, the United States, it, to a certain degree, at at its most um, uh, hypnotic state. It, it it's 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 just brilliant. Singe, singe, e. Nikoyan, Nikon, Nikin. Hello, first time chat. Salutations and welcome to our live stream. Hope you're doing well. Froggy Man, Matt Froggy Man. Oh, uh, I saw Lawrence of Arabia in the theater for the first time. Wow, wow, wow. Amazing movie. I've, I've seen that movie, Lawrence of Arabia. I don't know how many times I'm into the teens with Lawrence of Arabia. It is absolutely a magnificent movie. Um, and watch the extended version, the remastered version. It's so good. They released it back into the theaters. Uh, it did, it go it goes through stages where it uh, comes to the theaters again and again and again. Uh, last time I saw it in the theaters was like in the nineties. Uh, early 90s and I went to it a couple of times it was in the theater when I was living in Toronto uh, uh, absolutely amazing movie sometimes Mike I've been getting into 70s films lately more than just Star Wars I've a lot watched and loved the last detail with Jack Nicholson oh I don't know that one I don't oh maybe I do uh, early 90s yeah oh is that when you saw too Froggy Mano is that where you when you saw it as well in the theaters early 90s when it came out it was brilliant it, like in the theater i could and there's an intermission in the middle so good so good so good so good i'd like to go see it in the theater again i really would gang let's do a war lyrics let's do a war lyrics badge i'm gonna read this one first Badger Man. I think sometimes the original movies are better than try to remake. Yeah, for sure. Most originals are way better than uh, the remakes. Way better than the remakes. Oh, we got we got lyrics, gang. And by the way, gang, for your verses, use a forward slash or a backslash uh, to break up the verses. Okay, let's check this out. Let's check this out. Can you guess who it is? Oh, a storm is, oh, a storm is threatening my very life today. If I don't get some shelter, oh yeah, I'm gonna fade away. War, children, children is just a short oh, shot away. It's just a shot away. War, children is just a shot away. Oh, see the fire is sweeping our streets today burns like a red coal carpet mad bull lust its way oh a storm is threatening my very life today if i don't get some shelter oh i'm gonna fade away i don't know this who is this does anybody know this jalan how are you doing good morning good morning good morning i hope all of you have have a blessed day you as well jalan you as well i don't know this lyric at all 
like this thank you very much Alder God thank you very much indeed indeed break it up break it up break up the verses so uh, make it easier for Chicho to read once I, I start off a little slow is this black I don't I don't remember this as Black Sabbath <laughs> Rolling Stones. No, what the what the buck you say is Rolling Stones? Uh, I wasn't a huge Stones fan. Rolling Stones. It is Rolling Stones. Okay, okay. Which which track? It's not Sympathy for the Devil. Like that's the one Rolling Stone track I really liked. But I just didn't like Mick Jagger. Maybe Sacrilege, Chicken on Acid. I call them, and other people's other Chicken Chicken without a head on acid. <laughs> And they got knighted, so after uh, Grim Shelter, really? Okay, I don't know that. I don't know it. Oh, a storm is threatening my very life today. If I don't get some shelter, oh yeah, I'm gonna fade away. War, children, it's just a shot, shot away. It's just a shot away. War, children, it's just a shot away. Oh, see the fire is sweeping our streets today. Burns like a red coal carpet. Mad bull lost its way. Oh, a storm is threatening my very life today. If I don't get some shelter, oh yeah, I'm going to fade away. I don't, I don't even know the beats for that. You've definitely heard it, Chicho. It's a classic, is it? I don't remember it. I don't remember it. What the buck? But again, I never, I never owned any... Uh, Rolling Stones tapes or uh, LPs or CDs, uh, and I never intentionally put on Rolling Stones. Uh, I o I only heard Rolling Stones at friends' houses, parties, and radio or whatnot. Used in layer cake. Used in layer cake. Watch any Vietnam movie, and it's in there. Oh, really? It's that track. <laughs> That's the track. <laughs> Then I know the track. <laughs> then I know the track. Eduardo, this is Nick Knack. Paddywhack, give the frog alone. His old man is rolling is a rolling stone. That's Norm. <laughs> That's Norman. Oh, what's his name? The comedian. Uh oh my god, I'm bad with names this morning. Uh what's the that's the that's the punchline <laughs> that's the punchline <laughs> for norm's joke uh norm mcdonald norm mcdonald thank you very much edward <laughs> it is a great joke what a joke <laughs> this is this is a knickknack paddywhack give the frog alone his old man is a rolling stone <laughs> and he reads it like this <laughs> he goes <laughs> knickknack because he, he's holding back laughter right rest in peace norm mcdonald man brilliant brilliant uh he goes he goes knickknack paddywhack give the frog alone his old man is a rolling stone <laughs> or didn't you know his old man is a rolling stone <laughs> something along those lines so funny so funny profs but it's not in the best vietnam movies it's not in the best vietnam movies so it won't be in platoon or full metal jacket or uh what else what else what else we got all need despair if you've ever been near a rock slide you've heard the rolling stones ha 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 indeed indeed uh singe uh what is what is uh, you're asking me what is your favorite movie uh depends on the genre but in terms of war movies uh it's uh, come and see and come and see is one of my top five movies i would say for number of years it it has been it has been number one uh, lawrence of arabia is one of my top five favorite movies uh, yeah, and it's so difficult to categorize your favorite movies like war movies come and see and lawrence arabia are on the same level come and see more so lawrence arabia is epic come and see is is devastating emotionally absolutely destructive 
right? Lower Serbia has segments like that in there. Um, but come and see in terms of war. Uh, there's so many other movies that I just love. Uh, another war movie, which is in my top favorite war movies, five top favorite movies, is um, Grave of the Fireflies. It's a Japanese animation movie. Grave of the Fireflies. It'll make you cry. It's it it will make you cry uh, more than uh, like yeah, so good, so good. Like really, it, it's 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 the most most tearful movie I have ever watched, and that's an animation. Grave of the Fireflies is probably the saddest movie I've ever seen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Same here. Uh, saddest I, I don't know if i would say saddest but it makes you cry makes you cry right uh elder god let's read more lyrics what's the other one yeah apocalypse now is probably my favorite vietnam movie platoon and full metal definitely top five yeah apocalypse now amazing and i watched apocalypse apocalypse now in the theaters when it came out uh and i was just learning english absolutely <laughs> beautiful beautiful yeah provs knows grave of fireflies as well let's read more lyrics elder god's got it for us let's check it out if looks could kill they probably will in games without frontiers wars without tears if looks could kill they probably will in games without frontiers war without tears jo sa jo, jo sa frontiers andre has a red flag Chiang Ching's is blue. Uh, they all have hills to fly them on, um, except on except for Li Tai Yu, dressing up in costumes, playing silly games, hiding out in treetops, shouting out rude names, whistling tunes. We hide in the dunes by the seaside. I know this track. This is in games without if, if looks could kill, they probably will. In games without frontiers, wars without tears. Who oh, is this? This is journey. I think no, is it journey? Or Peter Gabriel and uh who is this? Oh man, do you guys know who this is? It, it's not journey, it's uh Genesis. It's Genesis, isn't it? Peter Gabriel, Peter Gabriel, it's just Peter Gabriel, straight up Peter Gabriel. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's just, it's just Peter Gabriel, right? Or is it Genesis, Peter Gabriel? Greetings, Adramas. Singe, I hear of Grave of the Fireflies, but I don't see this film. Uh, I don't see the. Oh, Singe, watch it. It's dreadfully sad. Yeah, what the buck? It's Grave of the Fireflies, gang to like really uh it's just him okay peter gabriel peter gabriel is one of the amazing musicians really amazing musicians right there's a little bit of controversy with them uh, very curious what the real story behind that was uh, but uh, peter gabriel absolutely brilliant one of his greatest soundtracks that he ever made was for uh, Passion of the Christ with Dijon Gasparian uh, with the Armenian flute. What a soundtrack! What a soundtrack! And also the mission. I believe he made the soundtrack for the mission as well. And that is brilliant as well. Yeah, Peter Gabriel's is absolutely fantastic. If if looks could kill, they probably. I didn't know the rest of that lyrics. Chiang Ching's is blue. Wow. Li Tu Wu tried singing that. Adramas lyrics, indeed. We're doing war lyrics today, focused on war lyrics. And gang, do not forget, do not forget, as Julian Assange stated, right? Lies start wars, so peace, uh, truth can start peace. How does he? How, he even stumbled when he said it uh, during a speech he was given in London. Right, but free Assange, free Assange, free Assange. Julian Assange, a publisher and journalist that is 
trying to bring transparency and accountability of capitalist power to humanity something that we desperately need in our societies for more information see wikileaks.org defend.wikileaks.org or countless resources available online on free speech platforms and search engines right Adramas, you got some? You got some. Lay it on us. Adramas, use forward slash or backslash to break up the verses. That way it makes it really it makes it easier for me to read. But I'm gonna give this a shot. Until the philosophy which holds one race superior and another inferior is finally and permanently discredited and abandoned, everywhere is war until there is no longer first class or second class citizens of any nation until the color of man's skin is of no more significant than the color of his eyes i've got to say war that until the basic human rights are equally guaranteed to all without regard to race all say war i know this track i just can't remember who it is i just can't remember who it is lonely piggy yo yo hope everyone's doing solid again today indeed lonely piggy i hope you're doing well here's a quote from julian assange if wars can be started by lies peace can be started by truth thank you very much elder god if law if wars can be started by lies peace can be started by truth indeed bob marley that's bob marley it's gotta be it's gotta be Bob Marley has some amazing uh, peace songs, really, right? Prof, Prof Z, let's read the lyrics. Write these words back down inside. Write these words back down inside. We have burned their villages and all the people in them died. We adopt their costumes and everything they say we steal. All the dreams they had we kill. Still. We are still we all sleep sound tonight is this what you wanted to hear we erased all their images and dance and replaced them with borders and flags wow 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 that's powerful that's powerful who is that prof who is that now i'm gonna know this one but i love the lyrics thursday autobiography of a nation I don't know this that's beautiful man powerful whoa 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 is this about the uh, indigenous in uh, the Americas the First Nations in the Americas specifically or is this uh, in general back from the early early 2000s double zeros Wow 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 Jalen freezing rest his head on a pillow made of concrete again Oh, feeling maybe he'll see a little better set of days. Oh, yeah. Oh, hand out faces that he sees again. Ain't that familiar? Oh, yeah. Oh, dark grin. He can't help, but he's happy looking insane. Oh, yeah. Who is this? Freezing. Freezing's rest his head. It, and Jalen, I don't think I put the breakers in at the appropriate. It for sure use the breakers, gang. Forward slash or backslash. That way, I can sort of pause at the right time. Nimzo Indian Two just found out your channel from a recommendation. Awesome, salute! Welcome to our live stream. I hope you enjoy your stay. Interesting stream we got. And you decided to join very interesting yeah indeed nimzo we jump around a lot we do some math current events economics cooking reading comic books comic book halls uh, gardening smoking cigars liqueur streams and whatnot yeah referencing native lands uh, their lands yeah 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 it totally sounded like it was it was about the indigenous population uh in the americas specifically uh probably well central central and north america singe i need to do my homework goodbye chicho goodbye singe thank you for popping in thank you for popping in jalen even flow pearl jam that's pearl jam jalen wow 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 wouldn't have guessed 
but I, 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 I listened to some Pearl Jam, but I didn't go off on them. Bangers, man. I very intrigued by American Indians, how they appreciated nature and land. Yeah. And uh, the uh, the the understanding that this material world was not the end all and be all of it all. <laughs> right. That's one thing that blows my mind with many uh, Western societies is the material means so much so much i'm probably not an exception either but through entheogens i've realized that there is much much more much much more uh omni despair the general says to the president i apologize sir i thought you wanted to see the world in pieces not world peace the reception was not great. Oh, that's effing brilliant. The general says to the president, I apologize, sir. I thought you wanted to see the world in pieces, not world peace. The reception was not great. Panic. How are you doing? Sometimes I prefer listening to um, garbage music so I don't feel emotionally consumed anymore. Yeah. Panic for me. Uh, I don't I don't like to listen to garbage music. I, I can't get into it. Uh, maybe there was a time I did just random pop <laughs> because it, it, it can be fun, right? If you're a bunch of people. Eh, eh, eh. Uh, personally, if I want to let my mind just disappear, I listen to electronic. I listen to a lot of electronic music, right? Um, but electronic music with no lyrics, uh, I find soothing. And hip hop with a lot of harsh lyrics as well as metal, right? Elder God, these mist covered mountains are a home now for me by my home in the lowlands, but my home in the lowlands and always will be. Someday you'll return to your valleys and your farms, and you'll no longer burn to be brothers in arms through these fields of destruction baptism of fire i've witnessed your suffering as the battle raged high and though they did hurt me so bad in the fear and alarm you did not desert me my brothers in arm there's so many different words so different sons and we have just one world but we live in different ones now the sun's gone to hell and the moon's riding high let me be your your fa farewell let me bid you farewell every man has to die but it's written in the starlight and every line in your palm we're fools to make war on our brothers in arm wow this is uh um, genesis i'm pretty sure brothers in arm from the album brothers in arm isn't it God, we come in peace and leave you in pieces wow 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 panic a lot of music i listen to have far too much emotional attachment uh to do to psychedelic trips <laughs> switch it up if you're if you have that switch it up to um a metal that's a huge release metal is a huge release for me anyway right and hardcore hip-hop political hip-hop hardcore some gangster hip-hop too but political hip-hop hardcore uh, can be extremely good release of energy peanut butter pumpkin party free assange free assange free assange julian assange the publisher and journalist that's trying to bring transparency and accountability of capital as power to humanity for more information please see i was trying to scroll up. please see wikileaks.org defend.wikileaks.org or countless resources available online and if you do a search for julian assange in quotes on a free speech uh, uncensored platform search engine like brave or start page uh, you'll find this quote from julian assange which really reflects a lot of lyrics war lyrics that we have and quote from julian assange quote 
If war can be started by lies, peace can be started by truth. Truer words have not been said, right? Or seldom said regarding our present political, uh, geopolitical society. <laughs> like crazy, right? Panic, yeah. I started listening to hip hop more and more again. Nice. Dire straits, dire straits, not brothers, Genesis brothers, I'm dire straits from brothers in arms. Yeah, 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 dire straits. Knopfler, um, uh, Mar Mark, um, I, I had a hard time almost pronouncing his name. Uh, Mark Knopfler, Knopfler. <laughs> That's an amazing album. Dire straits put out some wow, 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 wow. All right. Um, one of their famous tracks was uh the anyway they had a many and they were one of the ways they really became well known dire straits for those of you that weren't around when N N mtv hit the stage in the united states i was in los angeles at the time when mtv was really making it big like just hit the stage and they only had a certain number of um videos music videos they could show so they kept on recycling the same videos again and again like you would see a dire straits video music video um like maybe 30 times in 24 hour period right uh the one that the mtv be on your mtv they're playing it i forget what the track is called right panic i'm going to to a Roger Waters concert in a month. Awesome. I saw Roger Waters at the Gorge in Washington State. Amazing. Roger Waters puts on one of the greatest shows, really. And more power to him, man. The guy's stuck. Money for nothing. Thank you very much, Peanut Butter Party. Get your money for nothing and your chicks for free, right? Uh, Roger Waters is amazing. If you guys ever get a chance to see Roger Waters live, right? Peanut butter pumpkin party. After the live stream, I will be picking, uh, kicking back to a few old Chicho liqueur tasting making videos on Censor 2. Awesome. <laughs> we did it two days ago because alcohol prices are kicking up in Canada. We went and bought a ton of alcohol. We dropped a thousand bucks on booze like over the weekend right it's chicho lyrics yeah we gotta I, I gotta do a lyrics here i got two lyrics here i got two lyrics here controllers and we're we're allowed to post our favorite lyrics indeed controllers and yeah yeah this is what the stream is about favorite war, we're st specifically st uh, sticking to war lyrics right now right usually we just do lyrics whatever lyrics you want but due to our geopolitical situation we're doing war lyrics classic tune roger water puts on a great show indeed did you see his he was invited to speak at a u.n conference i think it was pretty wild pretty wild that's cool he should be i vote for roger waters to be prime minister president ruling ruler in any country he would end the wars the war of whatever his country was in anyway Ch -ch -ch. gang let me read you these lyrics okay i got two lyrics set up this one's from 1970 can you guess what it is? <laughs> Just give me the date. 1970. If you're a metal metalhead, if you're a metal fan, you know these lyrics. You know these lyrics. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I agree. Unfortunately, he is canceled now. Being called anti. Yeah, it's it's a it's a clown show regarding Roger Roger Chicho the man. What is up, sir? See that? How are you doing? Controllers and lucky that you guys uh, specified. I was going to paste Baby Shark. <laughs> Padre, uh, I went to one of his uh, his one of his uh, shows after uh, ingesting certain chemicals, and I cried. Awesome, awesome. Yeah, it is amazing. He, he puts on an amazing show. He puts on an amazing show. The it, Elder God, it is. <laughs> I knew you would. <laughs> I knew you would. BS. It, it stands for more than bullshit. Gang, I'm going to read you these lyrics. Okay. Uh, one of the lyrics that when I was a kid, indeed, Padre, 
that I was a kid that really resonated with me, right? Um, this is War Pigs by Black Sabbath from the album Paranoid that came out in 1970. Generals gather in their masses, just like witches at black masses. Evil minds that plot destruction, sorcerer of death's construction. In the fields, the bodies burning as the war machine keeps turning. Death and hatred to mankind, poisoning their brainwashed minds. Oh Lord, yeah. Politicians hide themselves away. They only started the war. Why should they go out to fight? They leave that to all the poor, yeah. Time will tell on their power minds. War, making war just for fun. Treating people just like pawns in chess. Wait till their judgment day comes. Yeah. Now, in darkness, world stops turning. Ashes where their bodies burning. No more war pigs have the power. Hand of God has struck the hour. Day of judgment God is calling. On their knees the war keep pigs crawling. Bagging mercy, mercies for their sins. Begging mercies for their sins. Satan laughing spreads his wings. Oh Lord, yeah. I brutalized a couple of parts there. And the bridge, I messed up the bridge. The tune, I gotta listen to the to the beats to be able to do it properly, right? This song is brilliant. And by the way, gang, just so you know, looking up the lyrics for this. I found out, apologies if I'm not going to read the chat. I found out that there is actually, uh, they released uh, something called Walpurgis. Okay. They released this as a demo. Uh, and the lyrics are totally different. Totally different. Okay. Totally different. Instead of saying generals gather in their masses, it says witcher, witches gather at black masses, right? Here's the here's the other lyrics. Let me link it up in our uh, in our chat. It I didn't know this existed, and I, I was a black a black Sabbath fan, right? Aussie Sabbath, of course, right? Um, some of the other ones are okay after Sammy Hagar came on, but nothing like Aussie, right? Uh, there's a lot of war pigs around indeed 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 see death killer of giants by ozzy is another of his anti-war songs yeah metal if you're metal you're anti-war most metal bands hardcore metal have always been anti-war yeah run to the hills by iron maiden is one of the most amazing uh tracks uh right run for your lives run for the hills i saw iron main live by the way that's the same concert right gopli civil war by guns and roses is a good one lyrics are too long to post though oh i i know i must know the track but i can't remember the lyrics panic not a war lyric but this one is the first that popped in my mind quote yes to dance beneath the diamond sky with one hand waving free silhouette by the sea circled by the circus sands circus sands with all memory and fate driven deep beneath the waves let me forget about today until tomorrow i don't know that 
I'm glad I didn't use this one. Elder God, I figured you would for sure. At, as soon as it was going to come up, I was going to read read mine. <laughs> I was going to say, okay, <laughs> whoever's sharing this, I'm going to read the whole thing. Right? See that killer of giants threatens us all. Mountains of madness standing so tall. Marches of protest not stopping the war. Or the killer of giants. Cool, cool, cool. Elder God, Chicho, you should have headphones in to play the tune. I know, I thought about it too. I thought about it too. Have my little MP3 player and press it and then sing it, right? And then read it. I can't sing. Read it so the tune is right. But War Pigs has, uh, it's like a seven and a half minute song, right? So there's huge sections where there's just an instrumental. So it would just be me bobbing. <laughs> Right, so that might be, it might throw it off, right? I think that's why we're calling these live streams lyrics, music lyric streams, because we're just sort of, I'm just reading the lyrics, uh, you know, with a little bit of sort of the beats thrown in there, but it's mainly just, uh, just the lyrics, I guess, right? Bob Dylan panic. That was Bob Dylan. Wow, wow, wow. lonely piggy let's check this out this is actually i won't give the name yet well it's right there <laughs> right there <laughs> so the name is red flag billy talent okay and this is the quotes cast off the crutch that kills the pain the red the red flag waving never meant to that meant the same the kids of tomorrow don't need today when they live in the sins of yesterday will well i've never seen us act like this our only hope is in is in minds of kids and they'll show us a thing or two our only weapons are the guns of youth it's only time before they tighten the noose and then the hunt will be on for you the red flag waving never meant the same no the red flag waving never meant the same cool cool red flag billy talent i know i've heard of billy talent i never really listened to him uh, I, I don't know i don't even know billy talent if it's country or uh or rock or what gopli gopli quote my hands are tied the billions shift from side to side and the wars go on with brainwashed pride for the love of god and our human rights and all these things are swept aside by bloody hands time can't deny and are washed away by your genocide and history hides the lies of our civil wars gopli elder god you know this who is who is this from see that you guys ever listen to samson he's pretty good i don't know samson no i don't know who samson is Elder God knows the lyrics Gopli shared. Who is this? <coughs> Beats and apples, guys. Beats and apples. And they're good together. You can go like this. Beats and apples with mint and uh, sort of a little bit of lemon juice on top. So see that says listen to what about us by Samson sometime. What about us, eh? Or Samson, a quick word. Guns and Roses. Is that from Guns and Roses? What Gopley uh, put up? What we say? Or read? Let's see that. Share us uh, a one of a little bit of uh, their lyrics. Samson. I don't know Samson at all. Is it hip hop or is it metal, rock, uh, pop? I don't know what Samson is. Very political. Wow, that's Guns N' Roses, eh? Which uh, which track? I'm gonna read it again. I guess it's rap, hip hop, hip hop. Okay, Samson. 
So Guns N' Roses quote, my hands are tied, the billions shift from side to side, and the wars go on with brainwashed pride for the love of God and our uh, human rights, and all these things are swept aside by bloody hands time can't deny and are washed away by your genocide all all history hides the lies of our civil wars wow wow civil wars a track name civil wars a track name man i haven't listened to guns and roses for a while panic let's check this one out lyrics coming in quote if it rains let it rain yeah the wetter the better they ain't gonna stop us they can't we we stronger now more than ever they tell us no way they tell us no we say yay yeah they tell us stop we say go rebel with a rebel yell raise hell we're gonna let them know stomp push shove mush fuck bush until they bring us tr our troops home come on just Come along, follow me as I lead for the darkness through the darkness as I provide just enough spark and we need to proceed. Carry on, give me hope, give me strength. Come with me and I won't steer you wrong. Put your faith and your trust as I guide us through the fog to the light at the end of the tunnel. We're gonna fight, we're gonna change, we're gonna stomp, we're gonna march through the swamp we're gonna mush through the marsh take us right through the doors come on this has got to be hip-hop just the way it's it's reading which i'm butchering by the way <laughs> this has got to be hip-hop i don't know who it is though uh, it's not that press uh yeah it's not that press it's not a more technique um who is this I can't remember uh, I, I, I had a feeling I've heard it before but I can't place it all the God knows okay okay John I have to smash out guys bless bless up love you all friends love you too John peace peace ah, now I want to listen to this uh, panic who is this? Who is this? Eminem Mush. Is it Eminem? God damn, Eminem. I went off on Eminem for a little bit of time. God, 15 years ago or so. Uh, really appreciate, like, I didn't appreciate Eminem until my nephew that was hardcore into hip hop. Uh, and I was as well, but I was, I was dismissing Eminem just because he made it big, I guess my mistake my mistake right uh and then once he said it's good uh, give it a shot i started looping him i really liked uh, uh like this track yeah eminem lyric uh lyricism is just out of this world yeah 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 i really just because and again that's my biases my prejudice right once i see you know mainstream corporate media pushing someone i get turned off in large part it's just uh, just because they push so much shit um but that was a mistake on my part uh liked eminem and one thing that really turned me on that like i appreciated from eminem was uh six mile mile six the movie that he that he was in um i went and saw it with my with family member with my nephew who's into hip-hop and uh i was like that was pretty good and eight mile yeah yeah eight mile yeah and that was pretty good and he goes yeah 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 chicho you should give it a shot you love you love hip-hop you should be you should listen to him i go okay i'll give it a shot all right see that samson's lyrics are too long to pace just you just got to he hear it though he's amazing okay okay uh, let's see that uh post uh, uh link it up for us on our gilded server link it up for us on our gilded server uh in the music folder on their like topics right uh definitely give it a shot uh, ch -ch -ch -ch. elder god uh quote my country i would die and i will see it soon 
when I walk through the door, my wife say, lay upon the floor, and with tears her eyes were, so were sore. I did not know why. Then I looked into her hand, and then I saw the telegram, said that I was a brave, brave man, but, I, but that I was dead. Wow, wow, wow. Who's that, Elder God? That could be part of a movie the ghost of the person walking in through the door seeing his wife saying hi and the wife's just crying with the uh, the telegram that he died see that i have to reinstall uh gilded or something it just crashes when i try to load it really gilded actually was smoother for me on all i got three computers that I access Gilded on, and Gilded is smoother for me than uh, Discord. Discord was heavy, heavy on the uh, processor. Uh, like my oldest computer, Gilded would crash it. Wrong order. Read first one. Mm -hmm. Wrong order. Ahoy, barf bag, how are you doing? <laughs> yeah, I get a JavaScript there. Really, JavaScript there. Huh, I wonder why. Um, are you running a lot of... I, I run on my, on my browsers. I run uh, Adblux Plus, Ghosterly. What else do I got running here? Ghosterly... Um, sometimes no script uh, on this one is just uh, ghosterly and adblux plus no script sometimes messes messes uh, uh, what do you call it uh, messes up certain websites so it kills it right should I read you another lyrics I'm going to read another lyrics. This is, and I just came across this yesterday. I was I was looking specifically uh, for, uh, because I got a huge respect for, in the last couple of years, uh, I've written off a lot of artists, right? Uh, when for we get a garden stream, uh, soon, uh, barf bag. Uh, I'm thinking about for next week, uh, hitting up the cigar store picking up a cigar grabbing a couple of drinks and we go out in the patio and just show you guys the patio before we work at it right so maybe a couple of streams next week or the weekend after in the next two weeks we're going to do a couple of streams in the patio and uh, because i'm going to start working in the patio clean it up and start doing some planting and rearranging and stuff so might as well see it coming out of the winter right coming out of the winter uh, so these lyrics, uh, I've written off a lot of artists, but I've, a lot of artists have are on my super respect uh, group now um, because of their political stance in the last three years, right? And Eric Clapton is one. Okay, uh, Roger Waters, huge. The guy, the guy, trusted, true warrior, right? For peace for humanity right really another person Eric Clapton man the guy came out put his head on a chopping block and said fuck you all I speak the truth right so I did a little search for Eric Clapton to see uh, what war lyrics he had what tracks he had either through cream when he like cream amaze wall super group super group super group right um, and I came across this track that I'd never even heard of, even though love Eric Clapton and yeah, <laughs> oh my God, Eric Clapton is God. Amazing, amazing, right? <laughs> awesome. And then I saw this 
hello Vuego, how are you doing? I hope you're doing well. Panic wasn't clapping in is God written all over the walls in the UK. Is there? <laughs> and I saw this uh track that Eric Clapton put out with JJ Kale. And JJ Kale of uh, many moons ago, like 20 years ago, I listened to a lot of JJ Kale and um Roy Cooter. I was I was really heavy into blues and folk and Bob uh, Bob Dylan and stuff like this. And I was listening to a lot of JJ Kale, right? I was like, oh JJ Kale and Eric Crapton. They actually put out an album. I was like, whoa, they put out an album, right? And this this album they put out in 2006, right? So I was like, whoa, Eric Clapton, JJ Kale. Okay, let's check this out. Let's check this out. Okay. So this is a track uh, by J.J. Kale and Eric Clapton titled When This War Is Over was put out in 2006 and is from the album The Road to Escondito. Okay. Quote. Gotta get the blues beats in me. When this war is over, it will be a better day. When this war is over, it will be a better day. But it won't bring back those poor boys in their graves. Ain't no sense in no action, killing people all the time. Ain't no sense in no action, killing people all the time. When it happens on the streets, we call that a crime. Man, he can't get along. He just won't agree who's right and who's wrong. The matter you see, all of those killings, that ain't the way to go. Got to get a plan and change our ways, you know. When this war is over, it will be a better day when this war is over it will be a better day but it won't bring back those poor boys in their graves when this war is over it will be a better day when this war is over it will be a better day but it won't bring back those poor boys in their graves i thought that was a good combination of black sabbath war pigs and jj kale and eric clapton's uh when this war is over right it's a really nice blue song it is a, it's a good uh, i listened to this track and another track i haven't listened to the whole um whole album the road to escondito uh but you can't go wrong with jj kale and eric clapton really right uh elder god clapton is god is a 1960s meme referencing the english guitarist eric clapton the line was popularized after being spray painted on a wall in london during the mid 1960s when clapton was a member of the yardbirds nice and John Ma uh, Mayor, Mayor, May all, and the Blue Beakers creating the cult of the guitar hero. Nice. Yeah, there it is. Nice, nice. Yardbirds. Wow, wow, wow. Yardbirds before cream. Or was it cream before Yardbirds? Yardbirds was before cream. Is that true, Elder God? lonely piggy let's read thank you very much j bow 79 salutations salutations tier one sub 14 months in a row panic yardbirds was first yardbirds was first yeah i think so too i think so too back when spray paint was under a dollar <laughs> how much spray paint now man i can't even imagine how much spray paint is hello hello lordy lordit Yardbird first, I believe. Yeah, yeah. I think so too. I think so too. 
cream i think was the late 60s early 70s and yardbirds was uh early 70s mid uh, early 60s mid 60s right we got lyrics coming in from lonely piggy quote and they won't stop till everybody's zombified they're pumping us with lies like his formaldehyde we're dead inside it goes on and on let this go let this go when it stops we'll never know we're hypnotized and they won't stop till you're zombified you better shut your mouth and bite your tongue because you won't you don't want to piss off anyone we're traumatized by the damage done welcome to america end quote zombified zombified by falling in reverse i don't know them falling in reverse interesting that never hurt them what kind of uh, music is it uh, lonely piggy yeah 1963 was yard birds and 1966 was cream yeah i i listen to more cream than yard birds yard birds a little bit cream there was a period where we listened to a lot of cream eric clapton is god <laughs> Yeah, I think most people I like cream more. I like yeah, Yardbirds was was not as heavy. Cream was just trippy as fuck. Yeah. But I don't I didn't really go off on Yardbirds, so I'm not that familiar with it. Lonely Piggy, very punk metal vibes. They have some really good modern day commentary in their lyrics. Really cool, cool, cool. Yeah, and punk is hardcore anti war. Most punk is anyway right most punk is or early punk was anyway uh, okay i don't know where where they're at now Sparf bag gonna go play in the sun before it rains for another week have a great time in the sun and get lots of vitamin d hope you hope you have a fantastic day outside barf bag thanks for popping in thanks for popping in fun fun war lyrics people are staying away from the war lyrics i should have printed off more <laughs> should have printed off more Doop. where's my beats i was i was enjoying a little bit of i was enjoying a little bit of vaping today because <laughs> we're just drinking water and tea sex pistols and ramones shadow people shadow i i i used to play uh, uh tom petty oh no no that wasn't tom petty that was someone that i don't like anymore um but tom petty's awesome tom petty's so good so good i used to listen to a lot of tom petty uh when i was uh drumming I had some solid drum like solid drummer tom petty uh tom petty and the I forget who the uh, what the band was called. Tom Petty and the uh, oh man, names, names, names. Elder God, let's let's read this. Let's read this. East the Eastern world, it is exploding, violence flaring, bullets loading. You're old enough to kill, but not for voting. You don't believe in war, but what's that gun you're toting? And even the Jordan River has bloodies uh, bodies floating but you tell me over and over and over again my friend how you how you don't believe we're on the eve of destruction don't you understand what I'm trying to say can't you feel the fears I'm feeling today feeling today if the button is pushed there's no running away there'll be no more no one to save with the world in a grave cool i know these lyrics i've heard these before i can't uh heartbreakers barf back says heartbreakers mud crutch heartbreakers or mud crutch the eastern world that is exploding violence flaring bullets loading eve of destruction song by barry mcguire Barry Maguire, really? I don't know if I've heard this then. 
I don't know if I've heard this Eve of Destruction song by Barry Maguire 1965 wow 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 and gang don't forget free Assange free Assange free Assange Julian Assange the publisher and journalist that has been crucified for trying to bring transparency and accountability of capital as power to humanity something that we desperately desperately need in our societies for more information see wikileaks.org defend.wikileaks.org or countless resources available online that uh, you can do search on right make sure they're free speech platforms uncensored search engines right um, stay away from Google and YouTube but try your hands brave start page go to BitChute, rumble Odyssey that's where you want to do your searches gang that's where you find uncensored information like you'll come across a quote from Julian Assange that says if war can be started with lies peace can be started with truth paraphrasing paraphrasing right incredibly important incredibly important right 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 fun war lyrics are so profound and it gives you the uh, the depth of it gives you a, it gives you a sort of an insight into the depth of the musicians or I should say lyrics in general but especially those artists that write peace songs write war lyrics it it goes a little deeper than just human love love oh, I don't want to say there's a lot of amazing love songs out there and whatnot but I think uh, I sort of personally I I lean towards political music it's just my nature political music is uh, as 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 a depth for me that uh, I crave uh, that fuels my rage <laughs> and gives me calm peace right because you realize that there are people out there especially artists that are trying to prevent the madness right trying to steer us away from this insanity uh, very important and they've been doing it for a very very long time very long time right like for example one of the lyrics I tried to find was if Nina Simone had written any war lyrics and I couldn't come across anything from Nina Simone because I've gone through Nina Simone's entire library multiple times over, right? Like Mississippi Goddamn from Nina Simone is very much based on a civil war to a certain degree, but it, I, I don't think it was enough war based uh, to read the lyrics for, right? panic i never like political music however i do understand their appeal yeah i love political music just love it All right oh my god more lyrics coming in actually i'm going to read the uh, enzo's first and then that way i don't have to do a break as much as the world appears to be in such bad shape in many ways aren't we still living in easily most peaceful and greatest time in all of mankind i wouldn't say it's the most peaceful but I would probably say it's one of the most important period. I don't know if greatest uh, I would use. I would say it's probably the most important period in human history, more than in in the last few hundred years anyway. Okay, um, the civilization, the present civilization that we know, I think right now is the most important period in human history. I wouldn't use the word greatest. Um, and I definitely would not say it's the most peaceful period in uh, in human history. Uh, I think it's actually one of the most violent periods in human history. I know there are people that measure metrics and say, you know, oh, you know, there's less wars, there's less this, 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 this. But I disagree because they're only counting wars between nations, right? They're not counting um, everything else that is happening, right? So... I think we're living in one of the most violent times in human history and most definitely in my humble opinion one of the greatest periods if not the most important period not greatest but the most important period in human history right and one of the most greatest periods in human history right lyric coming in from elder god 
bury the serpent in chains and lay his uh, carcass to waste this this die this desecrate the wicked snake and scatter his worthless remains and lay his carcass to waste and scatter his worthless remains nations rise against one another don't be fooled by power and corruption not me not me not me flesh and blood are not the enemy you will never have me deceived not me not me not me you are blinded by true reality the sick the sick hearted world feeds off anger and hatred the sick the sick hearted world try destroying the next generation while destroying the next generation i don't know these lyrics at all i don't think i've ever heard them cool who that who that elder got panic i tried to keep music away from politics as much as i could really i tried to i actively sought out political music actively sought out political music uh, even though i love many other types of music like if if a band uh, if i listen to a band that put out music that i loved i i again found their political tracks to be my favorite tracks like iron maiden run to the hills black sabbath war pigs um so many others so many others right enzo it's odd i rarely listen to music i tend to forget forget to i go through random moments like once a month for a day listen to a ton then i'm done <laughs> awesome I, I used to do that too and i do that uh, as well i do that as well what are your top favorite bands artists Oof. yeah gang what are your top favorite five bands or artists uh Allegod, war music song by impending doom those trap those lyrics i don't know impending doom at all and war music wow 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 impending doom uh nina simone is one of my top okay john lee hooker one of my top uh musicians um maiden would have to be up there dead prez would have to be up there um uh, spm is up there uh tupac and biggie for sure uh for hip-hop big pun uh immortal technique couple of track revolution one and two uh, it varies it varies so much uh tomita is one of my favorite artists of all time a japanese producer uh electronic music panic damn i the final cut is the album i like the least out of uh his discography i guess we are different in in that way how about uh yacht rock enzo i don't know what yacht rock is shit you into that i don't <laughs> and rush rush is my favorite one of my favorite of all time one of my top five i don't know yacht rock what's your yacht rock and so cheryl how are you doing she pops in boom <laughs> the lyrics hi y'all let's check this out lyrics coming in louis was my dearest friend fighting in the Anz Anz anzac trench louis ran forward from the line and i never saw him again later in the dark i thought i heard louis louis voice calling for his mother than me but i couldn't get get to him he's still up on that hill 20 years on that hill nothing more than a pile of bones but i think of him still if i was asked i tell the color of the earth that day it was dull and browny red the color of blood i'd say wow 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 powerful who's this uh cheryl who's this and what is yacht rock i don't y yacht y am i pronouncing this right y a c h t y yachet rock yet is that is a yacht rock or yachet rock 990 how are you doing is our species prop is our species problem is that we rely on 
militaries made up by our uh, descendants of early primates and expect to receive receive off-world heavenly enlightenment from nothing but a bunch of power hungry and controlling monkeys serious question don't know don't know don't forget about uh prison song prison song they're trying to build a prison there's a war on us right and the war by government against his own citizens indeed indeed and so someone explained you how to rock to him i don't know is that lyrics floyd the color of earth pj harvey cheryl that was color of earth pj harvey i don't know pj harvey i don't know pj harvey nice lyrics though nice lyrics heavy 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 990 did you ever get into 80s grunge teacher no i never did i love uh courtney love whole band no i never really got into grunge i know a lot of people were into it it was too depressing for me i, I didn't like i i'm not a huge fan of depressing songs even though war songs should be depressing i find them more energizing uh, like i never really got into nirvana i found it too depressing and uh who's the other one and radiohead i found radiohead to be depressing i tried i know it's brilliant music like as a musician amazing musicians right like uh i forget the main guy from radiohead he did the soundtrack for there will be blood with um, daniel day lewis what an amazing movie there will be blood wow one of my top five one of my top movies of all time right but i found radio is so depressing so heavy uh, man it's like suicidal music man <laughs> really <laughs> panic i could make a top five if i had the list of all the artists i ever listened to but it's far too difficult to remember however i credit pink floyd yeah pink floyd for sure for creating the greatest piece of music ever objectively and that is uh, echoes enzo i love listening to afrobeat shit 60s 70s tunes from nigeria and other african nations fella kuti fella kuti i listened to fella kuti a long time ago right uh souk music from uh, uh souk is produced souk or suka i can't remember from ethiopia i listen i listen to some afro beats uh, a lot uh in in vancouver west coast of canada we got a band called uh, afro six soundtrack oh what are they called i forget their name i <laughs> panicked they are very depressing indeed yeah Th tom york yeah 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 Th is it tom york or tom york tom york yeah amazing musician but, poof, heavy as fuck enzo the smith totally depressing the cure i love the cure though the cure i really found happy in a weird way i like the cure i like the cure the smith i never really got into elder god lyrics coming in yeah come on oh man hard to say that yeah come on on all you big strong men uncle sam needs your help help again he's got himself in a terrible jam way down yonder in vietnam i know this song ding, 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 ding. Uh, so put down your books and pick up a gun we're gonna have a whole lot of fun and it's one two three what what are we fighting for don't ask me i don't give a damn next next stop is vietnam and it's five six seven open up the pearly gates well well there ain't no time to wonder why whoopee we're all gonna die we're well come on generals let's move fast your big chance has come at last we got to go out and get those reds the old good commies is the only good commies commie is one that's dead and you know that peace can only be won when we've blown them all to kingdom come well come on come on on wall street don't be slow why there is war a go go there plenty good money to be made by uh, suppling the army with the tools of the trade 
just hope and pray that it's if we drop the bomb they drop it on the Viet Cong well come on mothers throughout throughout the land pack your boys off to Vietnam come on fathers don't hesitate send them off before it's too late be the first one on your block to have your boy come home in a box awesome I forget this uh, artist name uh, but elder god I think we shared this on on uh, on our gilder server it's uh from Woodstock uh concert he does a <laughs> he does a acoustic uh guitar uh, uh it, I guess uh track on it he sings this um, very powerful very powerful where are all these uh, and there are people doing it hip-hop and whatnot uh, but we need anti-war like we never needed it before right 990 jp jp pj harvey rebecca is pretty cool enzo mother is a fantastic song by floyd floyd has so many amazing songs so many amazing songs right back at the uh, like we don't need no education we don't need like when i listened to that when i was into uh going to school education i, I was always like ah, i don't agree with the song we need education but now when i think about it it's not education it's indoctrination right so floyd was so ahead so ahead and floyd 90 percent of floyd roger waters roger waters is floyd as far as i see it right and so not familiar da, 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 da. panic man i i had a, a playlist of depressing music when i was down in the dumps with my mental health rough times i deleted it however after i got better depression is a uh, bitch indeed 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 i've known a few people and <sighs> depressing times to a certain degree right cheryl i had a i had a good home but i left lyrics coming in by the way gang lyrics coming in i had a good home but i left i had a good home but i left right left that big big fucking bomb made me death death a humvee mechanic put his kevlar on wrong i guarantee you'll meet up with a suicide bomb hell broke loose uh big fucking ditches in the middle of the road you pay a hundred dollars just for filling in the hole listen listen to the general every goddamn word how many ways can you polish up a turd left right left right right left right left left right hell broke loose by tom waits wow 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 tom waits what a lyricist what a lyricist but uh, you have to listen to him <laughs> to him sing the tracks uh, then me read him he he emphasizes the right words 990 guys check this out chicken breast mandarin orange salad with your favorite additions and your favorite salad dressing and freshly shredded cheese to chase it all down yum delicious oh the lyrics continued from there uh so the lyrics continued how is it that only ones responsible for making this mess got their sorry asses stapled to a goddamn desk hell broke loose hell broke loose tom waits jim morrison indeed 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 that song that he wrote about his dream about the the frog uh, how does it go oh what's that frog leaper leaper frog uh where he was driving he was a kid and they came across a car accident and he saw a dead body uh, uh jim morrison the doors um i had a little stint of listening to the doors for not peace frog peace frog what a song what a song peace frog is wow 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 jim morrison what an incredible artist and poet indeed what a poet jim morrison i would say was a brilliant poet like really wow 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 
Yeah, I listened to a little bit of the Doors, uh, or went off on a little bit of Doors way, way back in the day, right? Amazing, amazing. Rage Against the Machine. Well, I used to like Rage Against the Machine. Uh, Kaf Kafkafoni. I used to like Rage Against the Machine, but I think the people from Rage Against the Machine, they they hopped on the machine in the last three years, and they were full on, go go go. Uh, the stuff we're not allowed to talk about on sensor tube, right? Country Joe, Country Joe, Elder God. I feel like I'm fixing to die. Rack song by Country Joe and the Fish. Someone called it a flying kiwi. Called it Country Joe. I feel like I'm fixing to die. Rag. Country Joe. Wow, wow, wow. I've listened to Country Joe forever. I I would just listen to it at random. I never had any uh, any of his albums or uh, tracks or anything. Oh, Tom Yates. Lark Bark. Hey, hey, you all. And my man Chicho just got off work. Salutations, Lark Bark. We're doing music lyrics war. 990. Observation. Do you think music throughout history was scientifically designed by warlords to reach into the heart of youth to do to do nothing but trick their loyalties, taking advantage of their na natural occurring uh procreative mechanisms to breed massive armies uh no 990 i think music is, is is an evolution of our heartbeats uh like the first musics really were drums boom 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 and it was more of a ritual to bring a tribe together sure they used music uh before they went to war raged off to war boom 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 uh war music beats and stuff like this but i think music uh, would first come about would have first come about to bring a tribe together as ritualistic and as well as humming parents uh, for their children and stuff like this I think children naturally just hum I think it's just an innate thing that we do uh, but uh, like many things it gets co-opted by centralized power for their own means right look at technology that's one example right panic chicho look at religion as another example spirituality right panic chicho completely agree floyd without roger waters isn't floyd and they were very ahead of their time for sure not only with the lyrics but their sound it just beyond anything yeah beyond anything beyond anything jim morrison yeah Lark bark Indian Indian scattered uh, on dawn's heaven's bleeding ghost crowd the young child's fragile eggshell mind yeah peace frog is so good so good so good man I gotta listen to the doors again now I'll listen to the doors for so long right Enzo and a super handsome dude haha <laughs> 990 Chicho Chilo I would be your foxhole cleaning maid anytime. Nothing but respect, my for sure. Respect, huge, huge, huge. Thank you as well. <laughs> Try to be what we can be, right? Lark Park, indeed. He sends some Jim lyrics coming in. Elder God quote I can't remember anything, can't tell if this is true or a dream. Deep down inside, I feel. Uh, I feel to scream this terrible silence stops me now that the war is through with me I'm waking up I can't see that there's not much left of me nothing is real but pain now hold my breath as I wish for death oh please God wake me back in the womb it's much too real uh, in pomp pomps life that I must feel but can't look forward to reveal looks to the time when I'm live fed through the tube that sick sticks in me just like a wartime novelty tied to machines that make me be cut this life off from me 
darkness imprisoning me all that i see absolute horror i cannot live i cannot die trapped in myself body my holding cell wow 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 that is depressing elder god glad i made a few indeed elder god that is depressing lyrics sounds like a sort of a soundtrack from johnny's got it johnny's got his gun like wow that is depressing where is that from elder god anybody know anybody guess where this is from elder god's lyrics capaphony i got a lot of new albums for my birthday on saturday nice pantera wow modest mouth prince tom waits primus alice in chains wow primus phenomenal bass i saw oyster head live stuart copeland um les claypool and uh, the guitarist from fish uh what's his name oyster head what and a small auditor small little venue uh woof right it was it was a venue for like ballets and stuff <laughs> like small venue with velvet seats and people were standing on their on the chairs uh trey yeah yeah trey anastasio uh, trey anastasio yeah cheryl primus oyster head uh, not oh, primus oyster head put out one album and they did one tour and i was lucky enough to catch it uh, absolutely amazing peace frog indian scattered on dawn's highway bleeding ghosts crowd the young child's fragile eggshell mind i love that part in the song yeah me too me too elder god one metallica isn't that's metallica no way i can't remember anything i didn't realize it was metallica i stopped listening to metallica like 20 years ago 23 years ago right as soon as they sued napster within a month i'm done right lark bark that's a very cool very i love the doors and their music the inspiration of the band's name came from the book the doors oh really a perception written by aldous huxley one of jim morrison's favorite books and authors what i had no idea are you serious the inspiration for the doors it came from the doors of perception by aldous huxley really one of jim jim's favorite books and authors i had no idea holy camoles kafka phony new metallica one the music video actually was clips of the movie johnny got his gun ah was it <laughs> sounded like a soundtrack where johnny got his gun killing joke is a is a band i highly recommend killing joke i don't know killing joke link us up gang link if you want us to listen to any any musicians any tracks link us up on our guild server like topics in the music folder okay 990 controversial subject before i ask but may i ask the ratio percentage of music bands that were formed by military intelligence communities to influence youth for war example the scorpions wings of change song written by the cia to help along the revolt pertaining to the abolition of east west germany in the late 80s and what is this 100 percent true 990 link us up link us up on a discord i love the scorpions dude scorpions is amazing damn the cia wrote the track <laughs> boo scorpions but we listened to a lot of scorpions scorpions had a 15 minutes of fame a little bit longer than 15 minutes right uh they could have been uh contenders uh, to iron maiden but they dropped the ball maybe because they sold out their soul to the cia i don't know kind of phony i'll see uh, i'll be seeing stephen nicks in may and pantera and lamb of god in september wow <laughs> a lamb of god to a pantera wow 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 cheryl thanks to south park my uh south park my son who plays bass in orchestra finally discovered les claypool wow wow awesome les claypool's bass wow 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 right kafka i've seen primus twice 
once on their own and uh, second time when they open for tool really wow 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 awesome i've seen tool a couple of times fantastic twice or once oh, maybe once maybe once <laughs> padre padre says primus sucks i don't know primus is pretty damn good man primus is pretty damn good i haven't really gone off on their music but i've listened to their music all right oh god i have two more to use this time let's do it how are we doing for time cheryl lyrics coming in from the ashes grew sweet liberty like the seeds of the pines when the forest burns they open up to grow and burn again and it shouldn't be different it, sh it could be it could have been easy but too much money rolled in to ever end slavery and the cry for war spread like wildfire civil war came and civil war went brother fought brother the south was spent but its true demise was hatred passed down through the years and it should have been different it could have been easy but pride was has a way of holding too firm the history then it burns like wildfire who that who that this this has got to be some kind of what kind of genre puts out long verses like this uh, hip-hop is sharp uh, blues is shorter 900 running aurora covers tree tree drop by massive attack wow, wow, wow is my most uh, suggested song ever highly suggest really massive attack massive attack I listened to a little bit but I haven't really gone off on it lark bar how ironic that metallica sued napster and now you can listen to metallica music itunes spotify and youtube yeah metallica were clowns 990 you can't link up uh uh provide links only me and mod can mods can pony i've seen tool three times so far Pff, amazing shows and nine inch nails has amazing shows as well a lot of bands have amazing shows just google scorpions wind of chain cia okay i'll try to remember to do i'll try to remember to do 990 cheryl uh i've only seen primus once they opened for u2's zoro pole tour in 1990s i went to see primus but the u2 set was pretty darn awesome yeah i seen u2 uh once the joshua tree album i saw uh, but I would not want to go to YouTube ever again. Those clowns. Padre, nah, that's just a meme. Padres is cool. I like their <laughs> Leaf Man Cliff song. Okay. And John the Fisherman. Awesome, awesome, awesome. I didn't realize Primus Sucks is a, is a, is a meme. Ah, we got one more coming in from Elder God. Wargasm, wargasm, one, two, three. Tie a yellow ribbon round the amputee. Masturbate, watch it on TV. Crocodile tears for the refugee. Wargasm, wargasm, one, two, three. Smutty, bloody pictures, ecstasy. Blue balls waiting impatiently. From Alcatraz to Lady Liberty. Body bags and dropping bombs. The Pentagon knows how to turn us on. Wargasm, wargasm, one, two, three. People, people, ecstasy. Wave those flags high in the air as long as it takes place over there. Body bags and dropping bombs. The Pentagon knows how to turn us on, turn us on. Wargasm, turn us on, wargasm. Awesome lyrics. Awesome lyrics. This has got to be from like hippie days, and 60s and 70s. It's got to be. Who is that? Who is that? <laughs> awesome lyrics i love the rhythm of it as well Ch -ch -ch. let's check this out let's check this out da, 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 da. Uh, promise opening for you too massive attack is brilliant massive attack is fantastic good vibes coming from puerto rico good vibes zeno zine Zinbimato, Zinbimato, 
<laughs> salutations, salutations. Salutations to Puerto Rico. Salute, salute. Phony, I've seen Nine Inch Nails once. Skip one of my classes back in college to go see them. Awesome. <laughs> I saw the concert where they had the moving screens, like three of them, I believe. And they were like really huge and lots of pyrotechnics and bright lights it was crazy i don't even know when like it was late 1990s probably nine inch nails is terrific and trent razor is treasure 990 i 990 i saw the cranberries dolores oredan and the seattle centers uh, at the seattle centers in the early 90s her voice live was completely hypnotizing cranberries really Dolores Oridan. Bono was a war criminal lover. Uh, lover. Talk about it. Yeah, indeed. Like you, you listen to U2's war album, right? Brilliant. Joshua Tree, brilliant. Like the early U2 albums, brilliant. Bono, what a piece of crap of a human being that monster turned out to be. What a garbage, garbage person. Oh my God. Whoa. Oh, the whole band man if i was youtube band member and bono was rooting for war and promoting this shit, i'd come out officially and call him a piece of shit and walk away right really i guess the money's too sweet i'm pretty sure the irish dis are disgusted by them right napalm death i don't know napalm death oh lyrics coming in lyrics coming in john brown's body folk song that's what it is okay let's check it out quote from cheryl my fourth great grandparent grandparents helped run schools in pa that were associated with john brown of course while a wild man he's a family favorite the stars above the above in heaven are looking kindly down sings that three times on the grave of old john brown he captured harper's ferry with his nine 19 men so true he frightened old virginia till she trampled through trembled trembled through and through they hung him for a traitor they themselves the traitors grew crew but his soul goes marching on glory glory hallelujah three times john brown's body his folk song kafka phony chicho you should check out zeal and ardor slave music mix with black metal i don't know them gang if you're on gilded link us up on gilded <laughs> link us up on gilded <laughs> It's hard to remember these tracks. I gotta, I used to, I do have my pen, but I didn't write down this stuff. I should write this down. Let's check this out. Zeal, Zeal, and Ardor. Zeal and Ardor. Slave music. Slave. Slave. What was the other recommendation? Oh man. There's Napalm Death. There was another one. Oh, I can't find it now. I'm gonna write down Napalm Death too. Hey, where'd it go? Where'd I go? Oh. Death. Nice. Nice. Trent Reznor is a musical genius. Yeah. Zen Bio Mata, by the way not the oh zen bio mata zen bio mata not zeno okay zen bio mata what does that mean zen bio mata no biggie zen bio mata i'll try to remember zen bio mata what would that mean zen bio zen being zen meta is meta but mata cheryl being into folk bluesgrass and growing up in pennsylvania means i know a ton of ton of war songs 
just all 170 years old. <laughs> yeah. Elder God. L7 is an American, American all female rock band founded in Los Angeles, California. First active from 1985 to 2001 and reformed in 2014. Song from 1992. Really? Wargasm, Wargasm? L7? Never heard of a Elder God. You're going to link us up. You, you got to link us up that one. Wargasm, Wargasm. Highlight it. St. Chichuan. So I know to check it out for sure. Wargasm, Wargasm. Sounds like something a female female band would put out, eh? Brilliant, brilliant. Cheryl. I'll skip the lyrics for uh, Some Mother's Son by the Kinks. Oh, I've seen the Kinks live. They weren't very good. But it's definitely worth the lesson. Yeah, I, I saw the Kinks live, but it was a crappy concert, really. They don't have a good stage presence. They have good music, not a good stage presence. Lark Bark. I like uh, Oingo Boingo. Hilarious band with fun music to listen to. I don't know if I know them. Cheryl, if we have time, I do have one more. But the ones I shared were my favorite. Yeah, for sure, Cheryl. We can do one more. Lark Bark. Bono is a scumbag. I want to allow that for sure. Bono was a scumbag. Automod zapped it. Bono's a scumbag, especially when he supported Bush, Obama, and now Biden. Ugh, disgusting, disgusting creature. Disgusting creature. Lyrics coming in from Aldegar. Let's check this out. Our little army boy is coming home from BFPO. I have a bunch of purple flower. I have a bunch of purple flowers to decorate uh, Mammy's hero. Morning in the aerodrome the weather warmer he is cooler four men in a uniform to carry home my little soldier maybe he should have been a rock star but he didn't have the money for a guitar maybe he should have been a politician but he never had a proper education maybe he should have been a father but he never even made it to his 20s what a waste army dreamers Oh, what a waste of army dreamers. Tears or a tin of box. Oh, Jesus Christ, he wasn't to know. Like a chicken with a fox. With a fox. He couldn't even, he couldn't win the war with ego. Give the kid the prick of pips and give him all your stripes and ribbons. Now he's sitting in his hole. He might as well have buttons and bows. Devastating, devastating. Wow. Wow. L7, one of LA's L7 music. Uh, Wargasm, Wargasm. I gotta check this out. Well, that's devastating lyrics, Elder God. Wow. It's the eyes, Cheryl. Awesome, Elder God. Thank you. I would love to see the Zang, but Red, he's not touring anymore. Oingo Bongo is great. Oingo Bongo. I've heard the name, but I can't place it. That lyrics is very personal to me. Really? Yeah, that's fucking heavy, heavy, heavy. Hello, Spencer, man. How are you doing? Gang, we're going to call the stream. We're going to call the stream. I'm not sure if Cheryl was going to share her lyrics. Let's check it out. Let's check it out. We'll do our outro. And if Cheryl comes in, we're going to, oh, here she is. Here she is. Nice. Cheryl, lyrics coming in. To was down by the Glen on Easter morning to a city fair rod. I ro rode I. When Ireland's lines of marching men in squadrons pass me by no pipe did hum and no battle drum did sound its dread tattoo but the anglis bell oh, bellor the riferies swelled ran out in a foggy dew right proudly high over dublin town they hung out 
a flag of war to us better to die neath an Irish sky than a Sovla or Sudder bar subtle bar and from the plains of royal meath strong men came hurrying through while Britain's Britannia's song with their long-ranging guns sailed in from foggy dew Twas England bade our wild geese go that small nations might be free their lonely graves are by Sovla's waves on the fringe of the great North Sea but had they died by Percy's side or fought with Val Valeras true their graves would we keep where the Finians sleep neath the hills of the foggy dew their braves fell the solemn bell rang mournfully and clear for those who died that east easter tide in the spring of the year and the world did gaze in deep haze at some fearless men and true and who bore the fight that freedom's light might shine through the foggy dew wow my apologies to the irish for brutalizing those lyrics my apologies Oof. oh dark bark oh no i'm just starting to have fun you're just starting to have fun <laughs> oh god army dreamer by kate bush wow wow was one of 68 songs considered inappropriate for airplay by the BBC during the first Gulf War. Are you serious? Those sons of bitches. Fuck the BBC. Right? Fuck the BBC. And rock on Kate Bush. Right? Crazy. Easter Uprising 1919. That's the lyrics that Shara put up for uh, the Irish. That's a tough one. Boof. Boof. 990 awesome tuesday stream guys remember bedtime healthy eating meal planners sunshine fresh air friends family and sharing your closely guarded health with those entrusted to pass it on to others that still care about this world future right on right on yeah lark bark bono needs to apologize to both ireland and the u.s and to the rest of humanity lark bike exactly bbc should roast in hell i agree bbc needs to, in the new world that is coming that is not going to be the great reset bbc cbs all these western funded propagandists should all be uh, what's the appropriate word to use eliminate it good way to end the stream good way to end the stream i'm starving now with all those heavy lyrics gang thank you for being here i hope you enjoyed the stream gang and seriously thank you for sharing all these lyrics uh sharing some of your favorite bands uh helping us grow and learn more powerful 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 maybe we'll start doing more theme-based lyrics maybe we'll do a peace one difficult to find a lot of peace lyrics uh but maybe love lots of love love trucks out there but we'll see but we'll see gang if you want to know what this work is about i am on patreon patreon.com forward slash chicho we are on substack and we are on subscribe star you can follow the work there and for those of you that are supporting this work on those platforms as well as on twitch where we're live streaming sharing all this amazing music having an open discussion and just loving it loving it loving it gang thank you for your support it is in large part because of the support we get here because of the support we get on patreon substack and handful of support we're getting from people on sensor tube and other means that we're able to do what it is that we are doing so thank you very much for being here following us on all these platforms and sharing as much as you can 
we do have a gilded server you're definitely welcome to join us and guild it and share information um, just participate in the discussion maybe after the live streams or whenever you want we're active there all the time we do announce these live streams 30 minutes 45 minutes before we go live on twitter minds bk gap uh getter and bit and uh, parlor you're definitely welcome to follow us there we will be uploading this live stream the audio of this live stream soundcloud.com forward slash chicho as a podcast and this podcast should be available on your favorite podcasting platform and gang do not forget do not forget free assange free assange free assange julian assange is a publisher and journalist that has been crucified for trying to bring transparency and accountability of capitalist power to humanity something that we desperately desperately need in our societies for more information see wikileaks.org defend.wikileaks.org or countless resources online and if you want do a little search for some of his quotes one of them being a paraphrasing if wars are started with lies peace can be started with truth bye everyone